Hello everyone and welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio and today... Hey Echowalf, how's it going? We're starting Zork Inquisitor, the last of the Zork games. Um, one of the only uh, one I had played uh, before we started this whole thing. Uh, well, yeah, no, I had played Return to Zork Nemesis and, and this one. Um, this was kind of my preferred one. Uh, even even over Zork and even over Nemesis. I only played it once, but I remember liking it a lot. <laughs> I bought the thing when it came out, and this came with it. I didn't remember it was so fucking huge. This fucking thing. What the fuck? So, yeah. We need to brush up on our Zork. Let's dive right in. I don't think I'll read it all, but it's pretty funny. I started reading it like two days ago or something. I read like maybe like the first ten of them, and I thought, "Oh, this is this is really good." I didn't remember it was sad, that good. Sometimes the, the the flavor text and the manual and stuff like that's kind of shitty. Um, just a little bit more, maybe. So like, start in minus like yeah one one thousand before before Empire, I guess. And GUE is uh. Um, but uh, it's uh, great on yeah, great underground empire. So early pre Quendorian society flourishes, then ceases to flourish, then ceases. The Mythicans, one of the last of the ancient and mystical pre Quendorian tribes, disappeared in what has been termed as a goof up of goof up of the first order by most anthropologists. Then uh, C400 BE, the city-state of Borfi wars with the city-state of Fibor over the renaming of the One River. General Ortheus Fli man, his name, leads to the Borfian army in the ultimate defeat of the Prince Fu and the Forbian army after the pillage and raising of Fibor. The river becomes the Borfi River, a very good name. Um, as the year zero begins, people feel fairly confident that something big is about to happen. Their expectations are met when a young, name, a young man named Antarion emerges from the forest and unites the warring kingdom of Galipath and Merilon. Thus begins the reign of Antarion, the wise first king of the Antarion dynasty and founder of the Quendorian Empire. Then we jump to 353. York of Silipath is born. His first couple of years as a mashed potato merchant are incredibly boring, consisting largely of selling and trading mashed potatoes. This is fairly typical behavior of mashed potato merchants. York, born into a frenzy, decides to build a boat, hoping to sail across the Great Sea in search of more stuff. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing there. Retiring to a hermetic life in the forest of Urgeth, Yorick begins work on the Book of St. Yorick. Later, the same year, he is declared a saint. Hey, base! Yorick dies, leaving behind a large body of work and a human-sized body of not-so-ripe flesh and bone. Most of the flesh and bone disappear, as is usual with dead bodies, though it is rumored that his knowledge of deep magic is retained within his skull. I think this is actually a clue for the, for the game. I think there's some clues for the game in here. Oh, they made a Yorick musical. Uh, this one here. In an attempt to recreate Yorick's historic journey, the largest fleet of ships ever assembled embarks on a pilgrimage to the East, east Lands. En français. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> uh, let's do this in French. Oh, you can't... Do you see the, Oh, you see this. Okay. You can't see my cursor, though. Uh, Duncan Trass uh, devient gouverneur de Quendal les noms du monde de marde. Je peux dire n'importe quoi, puis vous savez même pas, je veux dire. Je peux dire n'importe quoi, puis vous pensez que je suis en train de lire le texte. <laughs> Where the seat of power is to remain. <laughs> Does it go alpha know some French? <laughs> Where the seat of power is to remain for over 100 years. With the Westlands already on the... Oh, no, sorry. French, French, French. Ah, fuck this one. This one is hard to, uh, to translate. Uh, let's translate the 666 GUE. And that's not where we are. Okay. Uh, une armée de l'Est uh, 
de trolls, de, de, de guerriers trolls font face à l'armée des Candoriens. Euh, ce meeting devient... Euh, a été maintenant connu sous le nom du Massacre Diablo. Euh, et... Man, this is fucking hard. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. Returning to hermetic life in the forest of Igret, Yuri begins work on... Oh yeah, we read this. Yuri dies. Uh, the Zucchini Wars rain devastation on seven provinces. I don't think that's important. Determined to become a legend, Bizbaz commits suicide. It's very tragic. Oh, shit. Uh, but 473, arguably the most influential and least read book of all time, is published. On the presence of incredibly weird stuff going on by the mage Bizbaz. A genius before his time. Bizbaz tackles his serious study of the laws of magic. Sadly, his work is ridiculed and is left out of Gilipath uh, University. Oh, wow, and sometimes it like, goes all the way back there. It's fucking... Okay, so 573, 570... Then we go to 660? 660. Duncan Trax moved to Governor of Quendor, where the seat of the power remained forever 100 years. 665? Upon... 659, and the that was before. On the last day of the year, a main named Duncan Trax leads a revolution to overthrow King Zilbo III, and in the process becomes the first king of the new Flathead dynasty. Uh, 665, upon Duncan Trax's defeat of the Antarian Armada in the Battle of Fort Grispotter. Okay, whatever. 666. Nothing really happens here. It's just an army of Eastland trolls warrior face the Quendorian army at Zorbel Pass. The meeting becomes known as the Diablo Massacre. Diablo. Uh, 672. As a response to widespread magical charlatanism, charlatanism, Duncan Trax passes the Unnatural Axe, unlawing the sales of natural or supernatural substance. To carry out punishments for the abuse of magic, a diabolical machine, machine is designed to imprison those found guilty in small metal cases. It is dubbed the Totemizer Machine. I don't think we see this in the other games, but it, it is in this game. That was 672. We have 668 six, here, which I forgot. Uh, nothing. Duncan tries to begin exploring, spending Frost Bar's magic cave company. Shrewd business acumen paired with utter lack of competition allows the company to broaden and serve. Okay. 683. The restrictions of the unnatural acts are loosened, allowing the great Tomaturge Vilbaz to found the first chapter of the Enchanter's Guide. Uh, 688, leaving behind an empire consisting of virtually all known land above and below ground, Duncan Trust dies and is succeeded by his son, Belwit the Flat. Uh, I need to follow these arrows. Yeah, we did this, now this one. Oh, okay, we read that already. Oh no, he's, he's dead, okay. Then... The first double Fanucci championship is held in... Oh, man, double Fanucci. Fuck that shit. That's in uh, Beyond to Zork, I think. Or Zork Zero, something like that. 700. Whoop. On Ogre 16, Bellwit the Flat means the first Zorkman bearing his likeness and smear blah blah blah. And for us, we trust. Then we go to 723. Dim with flathead, alternatively described as colorful figure and the most wretched ruler Quenor has ever seen is born. He's the Feral child of Prince Mumberthrax, and with his siblings become the first of the famous twelve flatheads. Into that year, the Tomaturge Institute, an offshoot brain trust of the Enchanters Guild, invents the first hyperbolic incantation concentrator or magic wand. Uh, here. 739, the first and last descent, decent symphony, a work by Joanne Sebastian Flathead, is performed. I don't care that much. Then we have 757. After almost 100 years of growing popularity, Double Fenucci officially becomes a national sports. I don't give a damn. 773, in an ancient known as the endless incident known as the endless fire, the city of Marelon, Marelon burns continuously for four weeks and thanks to a local civil servant who meant to cast Zemdor turned original into 
triplicate and instead cast Zimbor, turn one really big city into tiny little ashes. As a reaction to this, Lord Dimwit issues 5.521 edicts of 5,500. 5,521 edicts restricting the use of magic again. Then we have 781. The construction of the 400 story Frobaz International, International Headquarters is completed. Planned by Frank Lloyd Flathead, it is the most ambitious building ever planned to build. 783. A banner year for Lloyd Dimwood, the excessive excesses. Uh, in perhaps his most nonsensical and expensive project, Lloyd Dimwood constructs the 37 million Zork mid flood control dam number three. They are, in fact, no flood control dam number one or number two. In addition, after 13 years of planning, Lloyd Dimwood's coronation ceremony begins. The coronation is the last for a year and a half, and once all bills are in, to cost 12 times the Empire's GNP. Uh, oh, I don't think I read 782. The Flathead Stadium, double Fenucci again. 785. The court magician of Lauren Dimwood, the Wizard of Frabaz, transformed Castle Flatheadsia into a pile of fudge. Lauren Dimwood, without giving so much as written reprimand first, fires the wizard. It takes more than a year for Flatheadsia to be rebuilt. 788. Lucrezia of Flathead, near the end of her life, in an asylum form of in an asylum forms of brief but love-filled marriage with a visiting wizard. The union produces a child, Lucille, who will many years later have a daughter, Lucy. The wizard counts himself lucky to have used a long life spell on himself just before meeting Lucrezia, given her history of per perpetual widowhood. Shit, this one's long. The last business not owned by Frobasco International... A small rutabaga farm in Mythicus is bought by the company. John D. Flathead, who is coincidentally one of the younger brothers of Lord Dimwit, now controls the commerce of every Zorkman in the great underground empire, making true his company slogan. You name it, we do it. Meanwhile, Lord Dimwit forests, deforests, 4, 1,400 square bloits of flu, Fublio Valley land to recreate a statue of himself. A local resident of the Fublio Valley, a hermit sorcerer called Megabaz, uh, makes his complaint quite clear on the 40th of Mumberer. Appearing in a puff of smoke in the middle of a banquet, Megabaz destroys Lauren Dimwit and his 11 siblings and curses the empire. Thanks to the efforts of the court magician, the curse takes 94 years to work, but the 14th of Mumberer is henceforth known as Curse Day. The beginning of the end of the Flathead Dynasty. This is um, this is the event of Zork Zero, which also propels you at zero. I think also that's the zero Zork Zero thing. Uh, but the game starts there, and then you go back in time. I think. Uh, then seven twenty three. No, what? No, no. I just read this seven eighty nine. Uh, eight. 820. After 20 years of tutelage and 30 years of study at the Akardi chapter of Guild of Enchanters, Bill Boss becomes a full-fledged enchanter. This is considered rapid advancement by Sorcerer's Standard. Elvis Flathead performed his first concert. Yeah, a bunch of Elvis puns. You can read them if you want. Uh, after 25 years of adventuring and spell surge, Bill Boss achieved the rank of Sorcerer becomes well known for his criticism of the indulgences of the Flathead dynasty. The population of Flatheadsia continued to steadily decrease as people feared the curse of Megabas coming upon their land. Because it takes 83 years or something. The so-called Granola Riots. Okay. Word Flathead, the twelfth and final heir of Flathead Dynasty, comes to the throne in an official announcement. He offers half the wealth of the kingdom to anyone who can stop the curse. Word Flathead's reward money goes to waste as the curse of Megaboss falls on the land. The great underground empire collapses. The imprisoned Grues are released. 
and flat area is reduced to a simple white house. Bell Buzz, not too sympathetic, sympathetic to the flathead's mothers, I told you so. A nameless, a nameless adventurer who came to the closest to alting the curse is, for no known reason, rewarded by Mega Buzz with the title of Dungeon Master. In Eritor of the Eastland underground, underground Empire, and showered with magical abilities and wealth beyond measures, a nobleman of unseen arrogance named General Siovar declares himself the King of Zork. Had, had Ziovar not been a man with a big army and not some magical powers, his title mongering might not have stuck, but he was, and it did. And thus begins the, uh, the Fallen Empire. 9.10 At the age of one, 153 years, Belbaz becomes guildmaster of the Arcadi chapter of the Emeralds. His winkly resembles a sloppy stack of pile of unlundered, unlundered linen. And Tarja Jack bursts into the enter enter entertainment scene with his hit series, The Z Team. So far, is said to be a big fan, which is probably good because he created the series to highlight his military career. Just give me a second here. Meet interesting people. It's the challenge I enjoy. Admittedly, the work can be a little bit hazardous. Particularly when you're in harm's way. But I'm rather good at what I... Okay. After one and a half seasons, the Z theme is off the air due to creative conflicts. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is less important. This thing is probably the most important. People want to know where the fuck that, that house comes from. Gustav Wumax, the so-called Chronicle of Magic, publishes in popular enchanting magazine one of the most celebrated of a brief history of magic. Brief history of magic. In the book, Wumax not only described the four ages of magic, but three types of magic. High magic, middle magic, deep magic. This is in the game. Uh, then the events of Zork come in, it seems. The mysterious cube of foundation briefly falls into the lands of one of Antaria Jack, the art up owner of a casino in the Port Fuzel area. It is said that the cube contains the essence of middle magic. A short time later, the cube as enigmatic artifacts are, are wont to do. This appears back into the midst of obscurity. Later, Antaria Jack has to sell the bar to cover his deaths. And then we have the Secret Order of Alchemists, obsessed with attaining immortality, instead finds oblivion. Following their disappearance, bizarre magical incident occurs in the Grey Mountains and Desert River provinces. A strange figure called the Nemesis. Oh, so Nemesis takes place before Zork 1. It's placed at the center of these events. King Zovar is forced to clear the Era the Forbidden Lands. Zork I, the brave adventurer, enters the great underground empire by means of the ruins of Flat Edia. After finding the, finding the 20 treasures and defeating the Wizard of Frobaz, the adventurer encounters the Dungeon Master, rule of the magical underground regions of Zork. The underground is judged worthy to replace the Dungeon Master as his fair successor. That's Zork 1, 2, and 3. Uh, then we have... This, 949, a lone adventurer removes the curse of the Nemesis. Okay, these are the events of Nemesis. And the Forbidden Lands uncovers the secrets of alchemy and reunites the two lovers separated by magic and death. Then we have 950, for a brief time, the Skull of Yorick, receptacle of all that is known about deep magic, comes into the possession of a gaggle of Gru's living beneath the legendary White House. The skull is never seen or heard again. Okay, so this is the receptacle of deep magic and something else was the receptacle of magic. Zorks in the second. <laughs> uh, then we have 952. The demon worshipper and evil warlock Krill plans to destroy the circle of enchanters and become ruler of Quendor. Krill does not plan to, to be defeated by an unknown novice wizard and banished to an alternate dimension. But that's what happens. Krill, Krill does not plan to be defeated by an unknown novice wizard and banished to an alternate dimension. 
that's what happens. Then, 957, Belbaz, in an attempt to entrap the evil force called Jer, becomes possessed by the... Belbaz not dead yet. The enchanter defeated Krill is called down to exorcise Jer and save Belbaz. Eventually, though, Jer is overcome. Belbaz decides to retire. Then we have... The ship carrying the coconut for Quendor meets a terrible fate. Actually, nobody really knows what kind of fate it meant, but it's assumed to have been terrible. His last seen in the region near the dreaded dragon archipelago deep in the Great Sea. I feel like I did not read... Okay, just before that, there was this big thing here. The second dungeon master selects Dalboz of Girth, a promising student at the GUTEC, GUE Tech, to take on the title of third dungeon master. Moments after the supreme honor is awarded, and uh, that's beyond Zork, I think, the university closes permanently as magic has just disappeared from Quandor. As it turns out, in order to defeat his dark shadow self, the head of the Circles of Enchanters is forced to destroy the Cube of Foundation, which generates the essence of magic. At the same time, a group of powerful mages, led by Enchantress Egel, stores all knowledge of it, I magic, in the Coconut of Quandor. The Coconut is loaded aboard a ship and taken to unknown destination to be kept safe until magic can be returned. Meanwhile, Dalba, the dungeon master of a magicless land and but of a cruel practical joke, retires in depression to a country state. His roommate at school, the untalented but very ambitious Mir Yannick, goes to Port Fuzel to begin a career in the booming and highly lucrative field of religious fanatism. Fanatism. Fanatism, yeah. Uh, and then the, the the coconut met a terrible fate. Then, with spirits depressed, Baker is committing suicide and a shortage of Ungus, Ar uh, Ungus Lard, and Taria Jack makes his comeback in Great Underground Adventure 3, detailing the White House incident of 948. No one knows why parts 1 and 2 are skipped or how Jack could live so long without aging. Uh, 1000 GUE, the Bank of Zork unable to handle the charge, the change in calendar dates to four digits. Oh shit, like the bug of the year 2000. This was made in 1997, by the way. Folds and is acquired by Inquisition Enterprises. Mir Yannick is the major investor. Great Underground Adventure 4, it's the theaters. Antaria Jack wins the coveted Palm uh, de Gru at the Fuzel Film Festival. The small cash prize allows him to buy back his bar in Port Fuzel and fulfill his dream of becoming a pound shop owner. Uh, 1033 GEU, GUE, after discovering the long lost and very nasty totemizer machine, unused since the unnatural axe, Mir Yannick rises the rank of junior executive Ma maniacal zealot in the Inquisition. He then rises to the rank of senior in executive maniacal zealot after demons demonstrating the machine's effectiveness on his super supervisor. Then, bored and destitute, the dungeon master begins researching methods of returning magic to Zork. Uh, I think this is it. No, this one here. In the deepest forest of Antaria, Dalbaz meets Griff, a sort of minor league dragon. Though of a cowardly nature, the Griff uh, agrees to help Dalbaz search for time tunnels so that uh, the items necessary to bring magic back to Quendor can be retrieved. Unfortunately, the winged one is captured, totemized, and dumped in the bottom of a well shortly after beginning the quest. Then we have this blue guy, an half-witted member of the already half-witted Brogmoid species, accidentally breaks into Inquisition headquarters, activates a totemizer machine, and crawls inside. The scorder witted creature, the, Bor the Brog, is subsequently totemized and dumped at the gates of AIDS. Murray Yannick rises the position of Vice President of Unreasoning Zeal, second only to the Grand Inquisitor himself. During a private conference with Yannick, the Inquisitor accidentally hits himself repeatedly over the head with a blunt instrument until he dies. Mir Yannick, that's our bad guy. Mir Yannick assumes the title of Grand Inquisitor, despite the efforts of... By the way, that's a known actor, I can't remember his name. You can, you can Google it. Uh, of Suovar III accepting the advice from the Dungeon Master, who tells the king of the impending reemergence of magic, Suovar III begins making efforts to end the Inquisition. Uh, then, then, difficult to follow. So, Suovar III accidentally strangles himself, according to the only witness present, 
the Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> the, Grand Inquis the Grand Inquisitor becomes recognized leader of theocracy of Quandor and the chairman of Froba's magic company, which he renames Froba's Electric. This here, Dalbaz finally meets with his nemesis, so to speak, and former colleague roommate, the Grand Inquisitor. The battle between them is fierce and well matched, but when the smoke clears, Dalbaz is dead and Yannick bald. Hey, good evening, uh, good evening, Odif. Dalbaz's spirit finds its way into a rusty old lamp stored in a uh, stored in a crate beneath a dock in Port Fuzel. His spirit had apparently been kept alive in the enteral plains of Atri, where he shared a walk-up with the enchantress Egal. He would have been happy to stay there, but Egal wanted the extra room for an office. Lucy Flathead. Wow, we talked about her like a long time ago. Uh, is caught defacing inquisition, pro inquisition propaganda and employing telepath, telepathic in abilities. She is placed under arrest. Uh, probably one of our. She probably aid us. When Yannick discovers that her bloodline traces directly back to Flathead Dynasty, and she is thus the rightful heir to the Empire, he has her totemized and put on display in the headquarters' main exhibit hall. A lowly minion is sent by the Grand Inquisitor to research an heretofore undiscovered area of the underground. The only discoveries are Grooves, which feast on adventurers who venture into the dark without a light source, and Rat Hands. The minion gets half day off for this exemplary work. And last, but not least, the Grand Inquisitor completes his technological wonder, Inquisivision, which he plans to broadcast from a top flathead mesa and used to broaden and enlighten the minds of citizens across the countryside. A curfew in the Inquisition's main center, Port Fuzel, is initiated. And thus begin our adventure. By the way, this is the DV DVD version, because even though I have the game here, I still decided to buy the GOG version, because I read that it had the, the the DVD version on it. So I did that. So this is what it is. I guess they made the DVD version. Okay, so a new game. Like the intro, you'll see the intro, you, you might be like, oh, the resolution's kind of meh, but know that the CD version, the, the version I have on CD, which was two CDs, I think. I think it was only two. Yeah, it's only it's only two discs. Okay, and the sound is all over the place, and um, there's no way to adjust anything. It's not like any, uh, even though I'm running on Scott VM. There's no, there's no sound mixing in the game. There's no like volume control of any different thing. So I would like to tune down the music sometimes, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and you'll see some, you'll hear some crackling, but that has always been there. It has always annoyed me. Um, I always thought it was my computer, but apparently every YouTube Let's Play has that. Maybe it was me because I played the, uh, I played all the Zork uh, text adventure games. Uh, because I wanted, I played Return to Zork when it came out. That was my first Zork game. Then Nemesis, um, and like I bought Nemesis, I never bought Return to Zork. A friend of mine, well, technically I, I, I remember buying it, but I don't, because he had a CD version and a floppy version, 
And when he got the CD version, I bought his floppy version. Um, but I don't, I don't know what the fuck I did with that. Uh, <laughs> it was like 24 disc or something. It was ridiculous. I may have thrown it to the, to the trash because I was like, ah, fuck that. I prefer just because I had, I, I like I he lent me the the CD version multiple times and eventually I gave up on Return to Zor because I thought it was too hard. Uh, but then when Nemesis came out, um, I rented Nemesis because I was able to rent games. And eventually I bought Nemesis with a bunch of other games. Uh, it was Nemesis, uh, Time Commando, and uh, Spycraft, which I also want to play on stream eventually. Anyway, and when Zorg Grand Inquisitor came out, I was like, oh, Zorg Nemesis was really nice. And the box was really, it looked cool. And I think it was super cheap, like $9.99 or something. Propaganda on parade. Brought to you by Probaz Electric, makers of the Probaz Electric Totemizer. Probaz Electric, we bring bad things to light. 34th of February, 1067 GUE, Eastland. Fort Fuzzle liberated, empire freed from tyranny of magic. Gone are the days of turning castles into fudge and eggs into ripe guano. Gone are the grooves and granola, the flatheads and the foolishness. Today the magic wars are over. Shun magic and shun the appearance of magic. Shun everything and then shun shunning. So said the Grand Inquisitor from atop Flathead Mesa, where the grateful masses throng to welcome Inquisition troops to newly occupied Fort Fuso. The third dungeon master has accepted the Inquisitor's generous offer of a permanent vacation. Today, the dungeon master read a brief but impassioned statement in support of the transitional Inquisition government. Rumors that the dungeon master is leading a so-called magic resistance are entirely false. In other news, the standoff at the Enchanters Guild ended peacefully last week when the Enchanters were freed from themselves by carrying Inquisition troops. Concerned citizens everywhere search high and low for hidden scrolls and magic contraband, voluntarily purging themselves of the worst excesses of the magic revolution. And finally, at tomorrow's ceremony, the Grand Inquisitor is expected to announce a radical new mind-numbing technology that will implement his visionary One Point of Light program. Never forget who is the boss of you. Me! I am the boss of you! 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 you. Oh, yeah. will begin in one second. Have you! It's all right this time. Yes. Where do we go? Elsewhere? Port Fuso. Port Fuso? This is... Nowhere. What's this? Oh wow, we go back. Shit. The Inquisitor says, me, I am the boss of you. All citizens are reminded to attend tomorrow's ceremony at the Black Head Basin. The Magic Inquisition. Port Fuzol is an occupied Inquisition township. Magic has been exterminated. A strict curfew of sundown 
is observed at all times. The underground empire has been sealed. Violators will be totemized. Have a nice day. Totemized. So 135,981 daily. Totemized, a very bad thing. Registered trademark of Fubaz Electric. Okay, right click opens up the inventory and closes it. Uh, this is supposed to be... Um, uh, a vacuum cleaner. I think you're supposed to be a, a vacuum cleaner salesman. Um, but I read the manual and it doesn't really say that. Maybe you figure it out while you play the game. So what happens if I go there? I don't trust it. I, I can't remember if you can die here. Your imitation of him is not very effective. Ah. Probas electric. Oh, Probas electric. Restricted access. Authorized inquisition person. Inquisition person only. That's because I'm not, so that's okay. I'm not the boss of you. You shouldn't be convinced of that. If you're convinced by just me saying that, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think there's anything to do. Well, we did get the rope, which is quite important. But, so he, he was the boss of... He was the boss of you, though? Sir uh, Yarrick, or whatever his name is? Because you said mine wasn't effective as his, so his was effective. He's your boss. Okay, let's go there. Port Fuzzle. Fish heads! Fish heads! Get your rolling, rolling fish heads! She's convincing. Fomaz Electric. That's the spirit. Same as the rest. Any lower and you'll be totemized. I remember it, it, eventually it says to save or something. <laughs> Dead earring. Locally caught garlic food. I can't pick it up. Oh! Trying to steal my fish? No. Look, it's past curfew. You're lucky I don't turn you in just for hanging around outside my shop. Now get out of here! Let's do it. I said, cut that air! Good thing I installed the Frobar's electric alarm. That's it! Hey, guards! Come here and take care of this fish snatcher! Take fish. As you leave the riled fishwife, something sticks in your mind. The sword of an annoyed sentry. You're taking... Oh, good job. You're taken off to be totemized and once thoroughly and utterly totemized. You recall the wisdom of Barbel of Girth. The best place to be if there's a hubbub somewhere else. More than just pretty words. Pretty words. You have been totemized. You score zero. Oh, taking that rope isn't even one point? 
Damn. This score gives you the rank of perma sucks salesperson. Uh, I think eventually it's a, it does say, say uh, yeah, I'm a salesperson. Yeah. Already, this, this game already. I love it. Love it. The rank and everything, making fun of you, and all the references to the old Zord games. Oh, by the way, if you go here, we're gonna listen to that guy. Um, I think there's a help. Uh, I don't think it's here. The inventory is here. Oh, it's at the beginning and the menu screen. There's a to, like a help function, and it's literally like the old Zorg, like text-based, like very, very. Uh, so you just stop talking? Fish it! Fish it! Get your roly poly fish! So I'll just go around so we can listen or just read because we can't hear a fucking thing. It's so fucking loud. Keep that for now. I'm not gonna click on these doors because people will talk to me and I wanna. There is no magic in talk. There will never again be magic in talk. Until those who. Oh, then there's the bear. Armin Zola, is that the name of the the guy who's doing the voice? One of the characters in the game is voiced by um, the psychiatrist in Terminator. He makes an appearance in Terminator 2 also. Okay, the curfew is now in effect. Oh, we may have finished talking. Okay, let's uh, let's go here. No autographs. I don't do that anymore. Now beat it. Scram. Whoa. It's past curfew and I can't afford any trouble. Can't afford Jack. And I am Jack. <laughs> I don't know why the subtitles are so fucked up. When I, like, I tested this game and even the intro, I don't remember the subtitles being so, um, unsynced. It's okay here. Like, it's perfect here. Many actual wizards were armed during it. 
I let you in. They bust me. You walk. I go to jail. No thanks. Go find yourself another patsy. It's okay. Just start repeating yourself and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, leave you alone. Oh, there you go. Past curfew and I can't afford any there you go. That's all you needed to do. So the guy's Jack, the one we read about in the... So he made the movies that are based, I guess, on the Zork Adventures. So can we talk to her? We can only steal this beer or something. Can we right click? No, right click is inventory. Yes, you are correct. Yes. Think happy thoughts. Can I go there? Doesn't seem like I can. Again. Go away. We don't oh, need this on some of the doors I got rope. I'm still gonna try it. So I can just go uh, like here in the corner. It's kind of annoying. I can't believe I can't interact with anything here. Okay, there's less sounds here. Further violators of curfew will be threatened with 
Is that a dog? There's an old dog there. I don't think I've ever seen it. Jesus, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Please go away. Can I interest you in these fine vacuum cleaners? Whoa. What's going on? We're inside the bucket. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have any reason to go inside the bucket, so don't go inside the bucket yet. <laughs> Danger, I leave flammable. Talk to me, Grand Inquisitor. Talk to me, Grand Inquisitor. Kept going down. I can't pick it up. Try to follow the logic. There is no magic. We don't need magic. We have technology. What's this? Now cut that out, you little creep. Only you can prevent Fuzzle fires. Honorable Fuzzle Fireman, Antaria Jack. Okay, let's um Let's go in the barrel. Stay here a while, something might happen. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I need to do something before doing this. I'm pretty sure one of the first thing we need to do is turn that fucking thing off. I let you in, they bust um. me, you walk. I Hey, MacApple. Uh, we haven't been elsewhere. Just a reminder, all Fuzzle households must be equipped with a standard Inquisition loudspeaker. As per standard Inquisition requirements, Larry's We're home. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine? Oh, we can't even hear you. I don't think there's anything. Looks like there's something there. I don't think I can go. Boop. 
magic forever oh yeah this is probably this yes sir let's go in probably gonna get eaten by a Gru no music nothing something there I can barely see it but I can't did I save before going down yeah that's a that's a groove for you wait and dark <laughs> that's what I did you are eaten by a groove now what's going through your head a pitch black cave in Zord game what did you think was going to happen you've died Five out of one thousand. The score gives you the rank of perma silvers. Okay. Reports of a strange blue glow near the dock are grossly exaggerated. All citizens. Are just started the game and I already don't know what to do. Crazy. I have two items. That's it. Can I use one on the other? Uh, to use one on the other, I think I need to put it there and then do this. And of course, I don't think it'll work for that. get back here. All citizens are reminded I don't know if there's anything here. I hope not. And I thought I would play the game and it would a little come back to me a little bit. Nope. Not at all. could be missing just a little thing on the ground or some shit like that. Or maybe I have all I need. Well, we totally need a, a lamp to go in there. I, th I think we get a lamp in the game. I don't know. I, I have a feeling... I have a feeling that we'll get a lamp in the game. I know we'll get a lamp. this all right it's back there maybe I need to put it there for a while and something will happen I should check I should say uh, well you know what I I should I should go back. No, not here. I'll put that there and see if I can remove it. Yes. Okay. But we know we can put it elsewhere. It's still down there. It didn't move. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hello. Oh, I remember you. You wouldn't be fishing for anything in particular now, would you? Because, see, I'm a fish and you're, you know, fishing. So I gotta ask. 
You want a piece of me, Doc Boy? Or Doc Girl, I can't really tell all you people what they're saying. Okay. Um, why not? No bandage. What about I mean, dopefish? I'm no monkfish, but I ate it the pain. You're kind of ignoring dopefish. <laughs> Let's do it again. You're just getting your sea legs, so I'm gonna say it to you nice. Don't drag your stinking hook through my stuff, okay? <clears throat> Um, okay. Making all these saves. No idea, because I don't know if I'm, I can piss him off or what. You're just not getting it, are you? Maybe you don't speak the language. Ikwe, you're a anagan Is that a spell? It was just learn this spell. No. I can sit here as long as you can, friend. Yep, all day if need be. And I have a distinct advantage. My entire underwater world is one gigantic fish toilet! <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't be fishing for anything in particular. Okay. Of course not. I must say that the Wall of Text historical timeline did not prepare us for this. No? Okay. Uh, what does it say? For dealing in illegal magical contraband. Okay, so this guy must want illegal magical contraband, which I don't have. I don't know what this is. Trying to steal my fish? Get your own! Right, I should get my own. Look, it's past curfew. You're lucky I don't turn you in just for hanging around outside my shop. Now get out of here. Okay, okay. Well, I think we know what to do with this. Uh, 
I guess the speaker just stopped now. Back up here. Uh, got lamp. What's this? The King of Medes. Something. Twelve full ounces. I still need to turn it on, right? I don't know how to turn it on. I just have it in my hand and it works. Oh. Well, it was a... What? It was a place in, in, uh, in town that said something about... Look up. up. Like that's, that's not the rope. The rope is just, you go out. There's something there I can take some kind of pipe or something. Hmm. I can just restore. Um, yeah, wasn't it here? Lantern's repaired. I let you in, they bust. Okay, okay. Um, this. Oh. Holy hungus. A genuine lantern. Looks like that one I had with me when I killed that troll with my rusty knife in Great Underground Adventure 4. These things are hard to come by. Nowadays, all you get are flashlights, courtesy Frobaz Electric. Whoa! Get in here! Go ahead. I said a whole crate off the Inquisition. Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who I said a whole crate off the. Uh, and I paid him. Now, where's my wrench? Ah. Oh, I guess I can take something here. Get something. Uh, no, I can't click on anything. Yeah, looks like this lamp has seen some action. Got a lot of carbon scoring here. Let's see if we can't just take a little... It's making a spark like that. You smell Spence weed? Where am I? Let me handle this. Nobody saw you come in with that lantern. Now, oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not a real adventurer. Just played one on TV. Couldn't find my way out of a maze if you paid me. Well, maybe if you paid me a lot. Yeah. No, this thing is magic. It's been a while, but I know it when I see it. Trust me, you don't want this lamp. Now, scram! What? My lamp? This, the, the historical text at the beginning did prepare us. Because we know that the spirit of Dalbaz, I think, is in that lamp. And it did say that the lamp was lost at the Port Fuzor. Don't mention it. He gave us a cigar? Dude, shut up. 
Forget it. I'm not giving you that lamp. It's for your own good. And, uh, mine. Yes, I can see that. Forget... So that's a, that's a cigar, a weird techno cigar. <laughs> Let's use stuff on stuff. Game over, man. Game over. Hey, Eric. This probably won't do anything, but I'm doing it anyway. This doesn't do anything except that when it's on we can actually take this without her hearing the alarm. That's a cool little simple puzzle there. You might just accidentally do it though. It says highly flammable. Oh shit. Oh, that's where we go in there. <laughs> you were just supposed to smoke it. Uh -huh. Arrest the vandal. Oh, what a load of yipple dung. I've been set up. Go ahead and read him his rights. Oh yeah. You have no rights. Fucking uh... You're a theory of Jack. Ah, oh, man, I'm so Already bad with the names. Remember that one time when you killed that thief who stole all your stuff? Yeah. Sure, pal, whatever you say. That was first rate, bloody good. Can I smite him? Hey! Oh, I, I believe... Rip Taylor. Smitation would be appropriate at this juncture. Go right ahead, yes. Oh, I get to smite hey, hey, Anterior hey, hey, Jack. Oh, the guys at headquarters aren't going to believe this. Oh... Okay, so now we might be able to enter his home. I thought we did stop the speaker at the beginning. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. The door is just open. Our lamp. Ours. And now everything that I can pick up is now mine also. Well, let's take a break here. I think this is a good place to take a break. We'll take everything here. Everything that is not nailed on. Indeed. Besides, I'm just not the stay-at-home type. And though uh, saving the free world might be a dangerous job, someone has to do it. Wish me luck. This game has been rated M for Mature.
revolutionized the first-person shooter with award-winning 360-degree stomach-wrenching action. Then, we plunged you deeper into chaos with deadlier enemies that fed off your power. Now, after years of waiting, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Descent 3's fusion engine lets you move seamlessly from inside to outside. Crush your enemies, set them on fire, and watch them suffer. Match wits with robots that sneak up behind you, hide behind walls, and work in teams. The best multiplayer out of the box, Descent 3 is optimized for modem internet play. Descent 3. We're back. Yeah, pressing escape, actually. No, F1 does this. Uh, which was was what I was talking about, where the uh, explain the game to you. Inventory. Well, if you don't, like, people back then stopped reading manuals. This is '97, so this game was a little. Uh, uh, before it's, it's time. Oh wow! Can we play the old Zoic Deck Nine? Deck 9, this is a featureless corridor sim similar to every other corridor on the ship. It curves away to starboard and a gangway leads up. To port is the entrance to one of the ship's primary escape pods. Deck 9, the pod bulkhead is clear. Is this fucking Star Trek? Deck 9. Just a reminder. What's this doing here? What can I do with it? I can't even interact with it. Oh, before picking that up. Fuck it, there's nothing else. Hey, thanks for fishing me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are gonna have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. Hey, hey, not here, okay? Let's get underground, then we'll talk. <laughs> okay, Mr. Lamp. I didn't see this before having the lamp. Ah, the underground. Much better. I'm Dalbaz. Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to, before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about a hundred years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. Suddenly, I'm torn from my body, floating helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Okay. I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Afghan anyway, cop. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? This is even better than I remembered. I am Yigail, lost enchantress of the Empire. I come to you from the ethereal plains of Atri. Oh, um, I gotta get that, do you mind? All right, let me get right to the point. This call's not cheap. 
The good news is there are three magic relics. <clears throat> relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because, hello, no magic. Zip it! Take this spell, book adventurer. There is much magic hidden in the underground. If only you know how to look. What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. We have just entered the mystical underground. Underground. I feel the game's a little loud. Just gonna tone it down a little bit. Not too much. I'm sure you didn't even notice anything. The music's a little less. Uh, aggressive here, but the music is loud in this game. And there's no way to tone it down, I would like to. That appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Oh, it's our very first inventory item together. I wish I had a camera. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have a camera. Oh, by the way, at the beginning, um, the puzzle where we got that can of, uh, of beer. So we got this can of beer, which was attached to a, like a cis pack plastic thingy that doesn't exist anymore. So for me, it was super obvious that that six pack plastic thingy older was going on the fish hook. But my kids wouldn't know even what it is probably i don't yeah they probably won't know they would see like the sixth thingy and they would be what is that i didn't put it under the glass thing but it's I, it's a great puzzle but it's a puzzle that is like locked in time because that thing doesn't exist anymore you never know when you're gonna create these games when you create these games if the things you're referencing are actually going to be there or not, you don't you don't know these because in a different uh, in an alternate universe, we never ban those plastic thingies. What does it say here? Great underground entrance, secret entrance number three eight nine six seven. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do. Again, there was this oh. Look, we're safe down here. Oh, I know. Even if you could make that climb, we'd be arrested in a matter of seconds. Really? Oh, I want to see that, though. I want, I want to see that. Arrested. Uh, but I'm, I'm interested in this thing here. Oh, climb rope. As you emerge from the well, you are spotted by an Inquisition guard who was discreetly taking care of something behind a nearby tree. <laughs> he suppresses the urge to smite you on the spot accusing you instead of breaking curfew, and, more importantly, arboring magic contraband. The later, the lantern is destroyed and you are dragged off to be totemized. Your score is 89 out of possible of 1,000. This score gives you the rank of Permasoc Regional Sales Manager. Oh, I'm a Permasoc Regional Sales Manager now. Nice. A Permasoc... Oh, that's the name of the... of the... of... Of the fucking Jesus Christ, the vacuum cleaner. Yes. Hey, Rez. Good evening. So I don't know what that is. Let's try everything on it.
Well, I hope nobody uses that as a company name. I'm pretty sure that's a joke. Oh, like that joke that uh, 100,000 uh, totemized daily. That's also a joke on McDonald's back in the day. It used to say served. I don't think they do that anymore because it was so total bullshit. Like they're actually like driving the number as soon as like whatever. Now we have now we have the technology. We could be able to do an exterior panel with fucking Bluetooth or whatever, and having every register like um, cell be counted as a cell. But back in the 80s or the 90s, that was so fucking bullshit. Door's locked, huh? I'm not much of a hand with locks, but if you open the spell book... The spell book! Phobos Magic Spell Book Company. Auto... Mustwing Spell Book. Oh yeah, because normally you would need this... Gn Gnustwing. You need the spell Gnusto, I think? To bring... Uh, a spell into your spell book that must come from the enchanter series because those are most based on spell books uh, but this is an auto gnostowing spell book separate the energies of different magics so we can do this and open locked or enchanted doors turn purple things invisible invisible and that's it so let's draw. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this game's amazing. Magic don't need to be separated right now. I'm sure they appreciate the sentiment. Let's draw. Bingo! Open sesame. A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. Ooh, am I gonna die? The crossroads of the great underground highway. My old stomping grounds. <laughs> oh, wow, we've been here before. Oh, shit, yeah. We there. <laughs> All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this applies. Go In on. case of adventure, bring glass. Oh, but the armor is inside the fucking glass, dude. That's not the what's. That's not how it works, you fucking dumbass. Oh, okay. What? But we didn't break the glass. Wait. We probably need to break the glass. Let's try to take it without breaking the glass. It's stuck. Now we need to close it. I need to break the glass, of course. Yay! <laughs> yes! It's a map. Ooh. It's fancy. The frigid river. Great underground. Strong, strong, strong. The crossroad. That's where we are. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree. Aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. Yes, and I know how to make them open. Think about it. We need to make it rain. I don't know why I need an umbrella. Can we make it rain with the beer? Oh, we have turned purple things invisible. Yeah, they are purple. Hey, there's a spell in one of the blossoms. Oh, there's a spell. Oh, now we know this. Now we know why we want to open it. This game's amazing. Open locked or enchanted doors? Probably not. Awesome. 
Okay. I don't think I can go forward. What is this again? Can we read it? It's How does this? Map. Oh, it's a map. It's a map. It's a map. Okay, and this. Let's work through the logic. Stay with me here. Where would be a good place to use a subway token? Okay, thank you for telling me what it is. Oh, so this guy now tells me what stuff is. Mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Mead light. Okay, this might be important. Mead light. Subway token. That's a permasuck machine. It'll suck onto anything, so don't go putting your mouth on it. Or anything else. <laughs> what the fuck? They just said that. I only know two people who smoke that brand of cigar. Well, one person, actually. That guy Antheria Jack. The other one is more of a house. Eh? What? I only know two people who smoke that brand of cigar. Well, one person, actually. That guy Antheria Jack. The other one is more of a house. I don't know what he's talking about. That would be your basic little hammer. So this guy gives hints on top of the uh, descriptions. This sword appears to be of elven workmanship. Standard oh, adventurer nice. wear. You know the type. Okay, well, glow blue. All right, we know this. Okay. It's a map. Um, I think there's a way to check the map. Control M. F2. F3. F5. F7 is this. FPS. Can we move that now? No, I don't want the FPS. Okay, thanks. <laughs> FPS in a game like this, that's funny. Well, we know it's at 60 FPS. Yeah, I needed to upgrade my computer to be able to run this game. It's so fucking amazing. Um, there was something on the ground. Let's go back. This, what, what is this? Come on, this is totally something. What? Hmm. Ah. Another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits. It is thirty. Well, I don't think. And easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. It's very space efficient. Totemizing people. It's very space. You can. You can uh, fill those prison very easily. Um, the, the entire game, of course, is a CD. This is a PC game, so it's, it's 60 frame. But um, the cutscenes were 30 frames, even maybe lower. But now everything is at 60 frames per second, even the cutscenes. So, so that's why the cutscene seems very, very smooth. Yes, but that doesn't change anything that it's running through scum vm what, what, what was that uh, i heard that uh hello uh, whoever you are it's me dalbaz i got chased out of my body by the grand inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp this year's afghan cop afghan, afghan cop well i was just minding my own business hanging out in the forest near fuzzle and uh, next thing you know i'm cornered by a fierce posse I mean, more of a family than you really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition guards, you know? And I don't mean your average regular little size guards. I mean, these were big guys. These were monsters. It took about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down because of those. Oh, what's this? You're a knobby little something or other, aren't you? A scrawny, scaly runt of a kitty fish. Ooh, there's a... Speak to the great dragon of uh, the Empire with such insolence. Uh, behold the flames of my wrath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 beg mercy, my lord. Oh, avert your eyes. My gaze is terrible. I am a dragon. <laughs> well, 
sort of a dragon after a fashion, you know. If you dare look into my eyes, I'll turn you into a uh, jelly. Stone, you idiot, not jelly. Ah, stone, right. Get it, Red, get it, Red, shall we send back up? You gonna give me any trouble, runt? More! No, sir, everything is under control here. Oh, dear. Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. So we have a bunch of uh, portable companions, the lamp. And this guy now, does he say something about stuff? Mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. And I actually wanted to play this game outside of ScumVM because ScumVM has been it and miss for me lately. So I don't know if it's because it's became it's become too big or something. Because I used to use ScumVM in fucking 2001, like. Even 2000. Um, and it worked fine for the LucasArts game. So this is not a LucasArts game. Um, but even... What is... I played... Anyway, I play a lot of games through ScumVM and it's... Um, it's it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I would have liked to play this through DOSBox, but... Um, the GOG version doesn't give me any... Usually, the GOG version gives you an ISO of the game, which is called something like Zorg GI for Zorg Grand Inquisitor dot... I think it's G-A-M, like game or something like that. But it's basically an, an ISO file. You can rename it ISO and mount it. And it's the game. So if you don't like the interpreter, the... Like, for example, Quest for Glory or even King's Quest. I think runs through ScumVM uh, and GOG. But if you want to run it like in DOSBox or whatever. Or have the original uh, uh, image for some of these games you can look up. L look in the folder. You'll see. They don't advertise it. So it's a shame because sometimes in those, in those CDs, which will see the images... There's, a, there's stuff that you need. Okay, so Great Underground, Bridge Access, I don't trust this. Let's go here. This place looks sort of familiar. I, can, I don't know if I can... I or not, I don't trust this. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. Uh, burn it. Well, we have a sword. Ah! Onward then! That into the easy. foliage! Into the foliage we go. Okay. What the fuck is this? That's my house! And this is my garden! I'm home! I'm home! I'm nice. home! <laughs> my gardening tools? Scroll, shovel, shovel, scroll. Oh, we just got Throck. Cause vegetation to grow. Ah, oh, maybe the umbrella trees. A shovel. Let's still look at the shovel. That's what we Quendorians call a shovel. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um, I don't think I need to use anything on anything here. I would be, I would be surprised at anything. No. No. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Okay. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Alright. 
It's a snapdragon. This thing needs to take a chill pill. Watch it. Don't get too close. Oh, singing. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? No? That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Alright. This is something I can use on this. That's why it's yellow. Since I can't activate it, it means that something else can be used on it. I don't know why the map is here. Why the map is an item here means that I need to use this map on something eventually or use something on the map probably. Yeah, I can totally see that. Mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind altering substance in any way, shape or form. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. That's an eggplant. You can suck almost anything. Eggplant? That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. Nope. Okay. Fuck it. We'll go. Bye bye. I'm sure it's a fucking singing plan, but I can't see it right now. Need light? What kind of a drink is that? Did it take at least twice what you got there to do anything? Not the wizards of this universe do more. Twice what you got there, so what I got there plus plus twice. To do anything. Okay, what are we gonna do with that? Oh my god. That looks extremely dangerous. They sooner saw their wings off than let them get their Very delicate home practice. No, I doubt that. There's too much sounds at the same time, okay? Too much sounds. Attack BI with sword, just under half a second, that's how it lo how long it takes for a thick black swarm of quill bees to storm out of the hive and over your sword. After a brief futile and very painful struggle, your sword falls out of your lifeless hand and clatters to the ground. With bee-like solidarity, the quill bees return to their hive. Oh, did I quit? Like, with... <laughs> Oh wait, if I might as well, might as well quit, might as well quit at this point. Um, no, I want to go into the game options and here, no, not this, this just doesn't do anything. Um, but I'm going to do this because this might fuck up, even though it's been like that forever, but this might fuck up the subtitle. Um, Synchronization. Yes. Hammer, we're gonna die. No, it doesn't do anything. Suck the bees out. Suck the bees. Come on. Nope. Burn the bees. No burning of the bees. Shovel the bees. Uh, you want a subway token? Stuckage failed. I actually thought that would work. What was this again? Oh, the beer. Let's put the ammo there. Actually, let's let's uh, 
Put all the tools here. Put that there. <laughs> ah, the teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. Oh yeah, the manual talked about this. Insert map, okay. Oh, so maybe, maybe that's why. I can't right click here, which is weird. Whatever. I don't like using that little thing there. It's faster to press right. Dungeon Master's Lair, which is here, the crossroads. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I still feel we might need the map for something else. Okay, that's a stool. These are weird plants. Uh -huh. Cut it out. Oh. Probably jump on it, right? Hmm. Okay, well, if we ever need to bounce something. Um, yeah, this, this thing, this thing exists. It made sense. That's an ashtray, by the way. Yeah, I do feel I need to explain what an ashtray is in 2024. We're definitely living in the future. Well, you got any ID? Me? Do I look like I got any ID? You look like a lamb. I don't care if you're the dungeon master himself. You're still not getting in here. Now, what kind of self-respecting alarm system would let you do that? Okay, so we got rid of the. There's two do two doors. We got rid of the top door with the stugi with this, and now we need to fill this with beer or some kind of alcoholic beverage, or maybe a spell. Consultation to grow. We should try this here. <laughs> right? I don't think this will work. This won't work. Sorry, baby. Can I use stuff on this? Uh, I think I did try, but. Okay, let's use uh, this spell. Grow. That's an eggplant. <laughs> Do you get it? Eggplant? I don't know why I would want to do that, and it looks dangerous. Let's do it anyway. Uh, uh, I don't think you would have wanted that to work anyway. You're right, but I still need to do it again just because. Just because this is it. This is how you finish point and click adventure game. You need to try stuff. Why can't can we see this? Oh, is this important that we zoom in on this? 
This spell sucks. Cause vegetation to grow. Doesn't seem to be working that well. Shit, there's vegetation everywhere here. And I wasn't able to make that spell do anything. That's an eggplant. <laughs> Get it? Eggplant? Sorry, how's Okay. Oh, we need to put something on this and then press it so that it goes in. I'd like to use it to jump, but I don't know how to use it. Anyway, that's done. I mean, we're, we're progressing here. Good, good progress. Let's dematerialize, shall we? No. Is the guy stop? Ah, the game went a little overboard with the sounds. And it did a horrible, horrible job of sound mixing the whole thing. You can't just throw a bunch. I don't know much about sound, but I've heard a lot of people talking about it. And no, you can't just throw a bunch of sound and think it's gonna sound okay. They just they'll just collide with each other and it's just gonna be cacophony. And this game is kind of that. Like even here, it's 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 cacophonic. Cacophonic. Yeah, I don't trust this bridge. Let's go here. In magic we trust. Okay. Yeah. What is this? What the fuck is that? That's a crown and... I think that's a, like a crown with two guys. A guy and a woman. I don't know. And a ring. I'm selling these. Red Rock. Ah, that was easy. Ah, my alma mater, the most prestigious spellcasting institution in all of Zork. And I was first in my class, too. Please don't throw rock. Danger, bottomless pits. Okay. Please don't th thwack the grass. Okay. We uh, we need to thwack the grass. Totally need to thwack the grass. Oh. If you want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars. They test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking. Oh, and clicking. Oh, wow, I'm really good at that. This doesn't fit with anything here.
That was easy. Okay. Oh, I should have throttled the grass. The grass in there, you mean, or? Okay, let's try that. Let's try the grass. <laughs> Cast Throck on grass. Though seemingly armless, you quickly discover why throcking the grass is ex expressly forbidden. The grass bursts forward from the ground with an unquenchable bloodlust. The tentacle-like blades wrap, up on the, or wrap themselves around your extremities, lifting you in the air and snapping you like a piñata. Throck and Throck the Frock. No, not quit. God damn it. Just restore you dummies. Okay. I don't think this is super hard, it's just that there's only one of these that is actually correct. No, let's just try this. Oof, that doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Like maybe this one. That doesn't work. Maybe? No, no, it doesn't fit with this. This weirdly fits? No. Oh yeah, this one maybe? Oh. No? Seems pretty... perfect. No. I mean, it's not exactly a line, but the other one wasn't exactly a line either. The fuck is this shit? This looks like the right one. No? There's this thing behind it, it doesn't make any sense there. No, this is not it. These can't be all like super easy like this. There's gonna be a trick somewhere, right? Because doing all these combinations would be pretty easy anyway. There's no spiraling thing here anyway. And it's this one. No, because here it's well. Maybe it's it's uh, uh, like this. No. Oh. It is now adventure. Oh, really? Shit. Oh wait, we need to check our scores. No, it's not F10. What is it? F8. F7. It is luckless adventure. Wow. I feel uh, privileged. Well, this three. Yes, it's this three. I'm just gonna override the other one. Let's try this one first. Doesn't work. Nope. Nah, it's not good enough.
I don't see when you rank up, they don't tell you. Is that this one? Oh shit, this is weird. Inside window. Oh, GUE Tech Eastlands. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. Well, that's how you get in there. You can't use the door. You can't use this. Right? You go out like this. So you never feel this. I can go down. What? <laughs> Jump in bottomless pit. You plummet down the bottom bottomless pit, and plummet and plummet. As the years pass, you meet, mingle, and marry a similarly indisposed adventurer. Have three children and eventually die of old age. Oh, this game is really nice. I, I didn't remember the um, being so well written. So many jokes. I mean, they're not all amazing, but they're trying, and I don't think they're like just just trying. Save. Yeah, I want to save here. Yeah. They're just try. They're not just trying it. They're actually good at it. I don't know who wrote this. Yeah, some jokes are pretty good. It's not like the ha oh, <laughs> amazingly funny jokes, but it's whimsical. GUE Tech. GUE Tech Elf Memo. Zork Rocks. To all students and rat ants from the Surgeon Specific. Subject Zork Rocks and Cola. Oh yeah, Pop Rocks. Another thing that will probably disappear eventually, so people in the future will play this and have no idea what the fuck it, that is. Warning, the surgeon specific of the of GUE Tech has determined that eating Zork Rocks while drinking any cola-based beverage can be harmful to your health and because your stomach will explode. Yeah, we used to say that. Just like that kid whose picture is on the Zork Cordola boxes. That's how we died, really. Like, that's kind of a joke, it's a reference to the Pop Rocks. Desperately seeking tutor. All subject pertaining to magic 2T as MDD. Magic Deficit Disorder. He must pass the exam or be expelled, will pay handsomely, Zork Mints or livestock. All subjects pertaining to magic 2T as magic deficit disorder. Okay. Should we take Dean's list? Marianic. Z. Is that like super bad, I guess? Congrats to our own GUE Tech Magemeister, Tomaturgic Decathlon Champions for the third year in a row. They turned to Michigan Mitigan Institute of Technology Enchanters into Ripe Guano to capture first place in the Moss League. The alarm system is down. Can everybody please try and cheer him up? Like that, that for me, that made me smile. That's a good joke for me. Mike's, Mike's pants. I don't know what that is. Remember, the vending machines are being restocked on Groove's Day. Please be patient. There is likely to be... Oh, yeah. To be no locker access until then, depending on how stale the candy in the machine is.
Snacks. Sweet snacks. What a welcome sight to the road-weary adventurer. Oh, I remember this. This is not gonna be an easy puzzle, I think. Like all the others. Okay, well... Oh, we have no money. Probably need to insert money in there. We do get money in the game, because... They show this, and they show like, oh, you get a spell, you get... Uh, and you get money. You have money in the game. It doesn't do anything. I don't think this will do anything, but let's try it anyway. No. Okay. Change machine. Oh, we'll accept uh, 5 Zork Min, 10 Zork Min, 500 Zork Min bills. Ah, okay. Okay, that's how we get some change. Cool, okay. What is this? Tadium Free Diet Orange Blam, Blam Classic, Antarian Punch, and Blam Clear. Hmm. I think some of these were here my freshman year. Oh, the Zorkman thing. Oh, that might be a... That, that Pop Zork thing or whatever. Zork Blast, whatever is it. Okay. We, we must get this probably to explode somebody's uh, stomach or something. So was vacuum seal candy machine. Vacuums? Aha! It's not called the temporary suck, is it? No, it's staying right here. Okay. Just where were you keeping this? I was about to say, shit, this is huge. But they, they acknowledge it. Suck from Phobos Electric. We don't make things that suck. We make things that suck permanently. Okay, cool. Uh, we didn't get anything though. So we can't remove this anymore. So we probably need to um, to make it turn, and then it it won't fall, I guess, and then we'll suck it out. Okay, so this stays here. Nice. Yeah, I definitely can't take it back. Okay. Nice. Cool, cool. And this was a hint here. Vacuum seal candy machine. I was about to use this anyway. So now the game is pretty straightforward. But it will get crazy. I remember some puzzle being wow. Very difficult. I remember one puzzle. When we'll get there, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, it's it's with these guys. When you get to the totemizer machine, that was the hardest part of the game for me back then. And I don't even remember what it was. I just remember that that's where I got stuck. And this is another game that I finished without looking up uh, anything. Even like, I, I didn't have really internet. Like, real internet until 1998. I had access to internet because I was going to college, so I had access to internet. But I didn't want to pay for internet. Um, well, there was internet, like, at my, my, my family had internet. But it was so shit. And even then, like, I didn't look up walkthroughs on the internet. You know what I looked up. No, back then it was pretty hard to get porn on the internet, I thought. It was too slow. No, no. When I, when I got internet, it was... Like it was good and like it was, there was websites, it wasn't much. 
Um, and I use MI, M, MI RC, right? MI RC chats. There's a lot of forums. It was BBS, kind of. Yeah, it was, it was forums. But it, it didn't take long. Like a couple of months later, you had like the World Wide Web, which is now known as the World Wide Web. No, I don't know what Fidonet is. I want to take this, but I don't have much left in my inventory, actually. What? What? What the fuck? You know, it, this bugs me. I can't even interact with it. Anyway, so what about this? And what about this? And the music has finally calmed down. When you host a network, no, with a dial-up button, it will call you in the night. Send me, send mail and files via no, 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 I did not do that. No, no, I was, no, 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 no. Oh, you know what? What we had at my family home was dial-up internet, which you had to call. Um, and my, my, my family didn't like me to use that much, so it was there, but what, what did they use it for? I don't even know why they used, why did we even have internet? Like, even like five years ago, my, my family, my, 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 my father and mother didn't know what to do with didn't really know what to do with the internet. Like, it's there, but what do I do with it? I must have asked them or something. This is an emergency Magicatronic message from the Enchanter's Broadcasting System. I am the wizard, Bellbuzz. This is probably not a test. Uh, sh should a tyrannical anti-magic despot have in fact eliminated magic from the Empire, you must find the following three lost magic artifacts. If you find them, magic will return. Cool. This is an emergency this is magic an emergency message from magic the Empire's message. broadcasting system. I am the wizard, Belbuzz. This, this is a magic university. These doors have all been Resrov proofed. Ah, oh, they're Resrov proofed. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh shit, the game just crashed, I think. Jeez. Uh, was this actually the last, uh, or was it this one? I mean, both of them, I haven't done much. We didn't do anything here. Okay, I did the sucky thing here. Did, did this one have it? No, this was before. Just where were you keeping that? Shut up. Permisuck from Fobos Electric. We don't make things that suck. We make things that suck permanently. Someone look at this, maybe it's gonna you know, unlock something. This Talk is this an guy. emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. I am the wizard 
bell buzz. This is probably not a test. I sh should it to this is this, 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 this is an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. Shit. I am the wizard. This, I, we're actually watching, walking through this. This is not like a. Should a to false thing. Magic despot have in fact eliminated magic from the empire. You must find the following three lost magic artifacts. Wow, the game remembers a number of screens we've passed through. Magic will return. Wow. This is the main hallway one took to go to class. I've never been down it. Well, I mean, you can try to go down it if this you want. This corridor goes on forever. <laughs> it's almost as if we're <laughs> infinite. Um, maybe this? Awesome. Go, let's walk to this infinite all the way. It's like it's infinite. Okay, let's go see if we could pass this bridge. Oh no. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, let's try the grow thing on these. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Yeah. Is this something? Let's dematerialize, shall we? Okay. So, like, we can use them. Oh, man, that's annoying. You can right click here. Oh, okay. No, that's not what I want. Like, we're already there. You just back out and you're there. You don't need to punch a like a go. Yeah, it's faster to take this and click right then than do this. Take it. Like it's almost the same time. It had to start there and go all the way like that. It had to do that, right? That's like this is so much easier to get to. This, in my opinion, should be the inventory bar, and this should be like preference, save, quit, blah blah. But whatever. So the subway. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. A token, a slot. But how to put it all together without my insert token into slot spell? Insert token into slot spell. I, I was just about to suggest that. Oh wow, you just kind of said it though. No back seating, but. The underground, underground. Hey, it's Nick's. A it's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. Sounds like it's still operational too. It's a subway and it's a subway and a political movement. Fancy. We only needed one token, apparently. 
it's great, it's better than I remembered, and I remembered it uh, very fondly. Lots of humor, uh, it's, it's gorgeous. For now it's not too difficult, but I know that I eventually, uh oh oh. Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the, um, I have no idea. First, locate your desired destination using the road map. Verify values. The checking and the arrival type option and stop before completing. Repeat step one until another ride comes to his assistance. Enjoy your trip. There seems to be some sort of problem here. Okay. I don't think this is doing anything. That's it. Just keep hitting those buttons. Something's bound to happen. If I were the adventurer and you were the sidekick, I think I'd try a different approach. Well, you know what? You're not the adventurer. You're the sidekick. Feel the eat. Take the underground to AIDS. Feel the eat. and. Win big, play old scratch. Zork mid 500 or eternal damnation. You choose your path. The Zork lottery. Brave souls wanted. Old scratcher. Yeah, as you can see, it's just it's just so good. The fact that he he, he, res, he respond he, he reacted to me clicking those buttons. Oh, by the way, the, it's the lamp is talking to me. This guy, might, this guy might also talk to me, but I think it's very circumstantial. Oh, so I don't think I can go here. No. Yeah, we probably need to figure this out. We have Amers. No, uh, in, in Return to Zork, it was, uh, it was like a snow globe, kind of. It was supposed to be your... Um, it's, it's supposed to be like a, a tourism guide, kind of, I think. Something like that. Uh, the music sounds familiar to me because when I played the Zork uh, games, I played the Zork Nemesis um, soundtrack to have just some music in the background. But I also used this one. I can't, can't remember for which Zork game, but we did use this one too. So we need to open up this. I think these are umbrella trees. We don't see them anymore. We don't see that it's umbrellas, but it's umbrellas. And I think that to make them open, we need to make it rain. At least that's what my brain tells me to do, but I might be wrong. Let's go back up here. There's still that pipe thingy. Uh, but the lamb doesn't want us to go back up, though. Ah, oh, shit. No, we just die. Yeah, we die if you do this. Uh... Hmm. A token? A slot? But how to put it all together? I, I was just about to suggest that. The underground underground. It's a subway. It's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. Sounds like it's still operational, too. Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the... Um, I have no idea. There seems to be some sort of problem here. I don't think this is doing anything. That's it. Just keep hitting those buttons. Something's bound to happen. If I were the adventurer and you were the sidekick, I think I'd try a different approach. Okay, 
Okay, let's say it again. I just wanted to do exactly what I did. This is important. Number of times that I reloaded. Oh, I didn't do this same thing that I did when I saved. Okay, so let's try to not, not go outside. Not completely outside. Just look up. There's this thing here. Or maybe it's the rope. Maybe I just need to cut it to get it back. Yes, we saw them. Um, and other actors. Um, what's the name of the other actor? Um, Echo Alpha mentioned them. Oh, way at the beginning. Jesus Christ. Eric Avary. Eric Avary, which is in the um, Star, um, Stargate, the, the movie and the series. So I thought we might be able to cut the rope here. Oops, fuck. I didn't want to click there. Ah, oh, shit. We're back here? God damn it. Violence never solved anything. Well, not everything. I didn't okay, use the shovel thing. yet. Which is weird. I should have used this. And this armor, well, we kind of know what the armor is for. Kind of. Lenny and Squiggy. I don't know who those are. Oh, shit. No, yeah, well... Okay, there's a pipe going down. Is that important? That's probably the pipe we look at when we look at this. Oh, people would would throw would throw money in the well and it would go down the pipe. and shut the door. We tried this already. Can we go forward? It looks like we almost could. Almost. The music sounds like fucking Fallout music. Or something like that. We haven't been here in a while, but we didn't get new items since the last time we've been here. Separate the energies of different magics. Why is this here? Because they put, they could have put the scroll and the shovel just on the floor here. This must serve some kind of purpose. Can I put it back there? I can put it back. Interesting. I don't know why I would put it back, but I can. Maybe the plants will like me if I don't have the shovel. 
I can't even close the door now. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. Putting the shovel down. That's an eggplant. <laughs> you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. Oh, there you go. There seems to be some sort of problem here. I don't think this is doing anything. I mean, it's doing something. Shut up. Like, there's actually something appearing on the screen. And he's like, nope. That's not it. Dude, somebody made this animation, okay? So it must be important, right? That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? Why do we want this? I don't know why we would want this. If we lose this, we die. This is alcohol and I need to bring it there to give to her and it'll probably open up this door. This was opened up by giving him a, or her a, a stoogie. Some kind of cigar and then there's this thing which we can do this. But I have no idea why I would want to do this. I think we'll call it a stream and probably next stream I'll have to use every item on everything because I'm at the point in the game where I don't know what to do anymore. There's that infinite pass. So there's a lot of stuff to explore and, and check and try. But in terms of, oh yeah, we should try this, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do That's anymore. An do you get it? Eggplant? No? Right. This fucking singing is, is annoying, there must be something here. There seems to be some sort of problem here, I don't think this is doing anything. Why does he say that? Maybe check for more purple things. I can make purple things go invisible for some reason. And then there's this. Oh, at least we don't have to do anything with that. Is there some purple here? You need the ah oh, shit. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I don't know if I need the shovel. This isn't the dig. I haven't used the shovel yet, which is disturbing. Hmm. I think some of these were here my freshman year. We need some kind of paper money. To put into the change machine. Um, and when you go to the subway, there's that lottery thing. So it's all connected. I mean, they're giving me hints here. Anyway, it's about 11, and again, I don't know what to do, so I don't feel. I absolutely do not want to get into the let's try everything on everything now because. Because I might as well just start the stream doing that. Because if I start now, I won't remember what I did and what I didn't do to the next stream. So we need to get there, probably. Some kind of infinite message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. I am the wizard Bell. It's not infinite because probably not a test. This feels like a puzzle we did already. There was a puzzle in Beyond Zork that was like that, or a passage. I think it was Beyond Zork, or Zork Zero. Maybe, yeah, Zork Zero, I think. A tower, I think, that you could go up and down 
and you could go up levels upon levels and like I was go up go up go up where does it like will the game eventually just stop like will it crash or something because you go here and you can go all the way do this for half an hour and then when you turn around you'll also have to do this for half an hour to go back it's not taking any shortcuts like this is an immensely long corridor it's not like a teleporting corridor where i'm actually still standing in front of the like i'm still standing here and i just turn around most games will do that you'll just go like like this and then you'll turn around and you'll press once and you'll arrive immediately here Anyway, it's it's late enough. Uh, tomorrow we continue Icewind Dale 2 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and Tuesday we'll continue this 8 p.m. Eastern Time as always. Uh, let's raise Ag. Let's raise. Let's raid Agus McMutton. I think we're near the demo part of the game. Oh. There you go. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night, and see you next time. Ciao. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for